guys so the last I don't know minute or so that you just watched is what I did yesterday uh, I dropped two well I guess it was a single tree with two trunks uh, an oak tree I dropped that got that cut up into sections and that's about all I had time to do yesterday so today um, we're gonna work on skidding those logs down here to the sawmill um, and those logs are all the way in the back woods kind of up there we got the middle woods down here and then there's woods there's pasture behind that and then behind that pasture is the back woods and that's where that tree was that I took down so as you can probably hear it running over uh, I guess behind you guys in front of me uh, we're gonna be using the Massey to skid those down today the uh, track steer is gonna get the day off um, well maybe not we might use that to stack logs up down here near the mill I'm not sure but either way uh, the Massey is what we're gonna be using for the most part for getting the logs from the mill over there down to here or from the mill up there from the woods up there down here to the mill Alrighty, so we're up here where we were cutting uh, those logs yesterday, uh, and here's the stump. Uh, this one over here is about 24 inch, that one right there is about an 18 inch. So, decent sized log, decent sized log. And uh, as you can see down there, there's the tractor, and then you can kind of see the logs right there stacked up and ready to get dragged down to the mill. a little crazy for trying this but uh, I think I'm actually gonna try a, a, a twofer I've got this one right here hooked up and ready to go uh, I think I'm gonna try tagging this one on behind this one over here uh, chain that one on too. see if I can't drag two of them down at the same time So we're going to give the uh, skid steer a try now, uh, dragging this down. I was thinking I'd just do it with the tractor. Uh, eh, I don't know. The, the ground's a little bit weird right now because it's been really cold, so some parts of the ground are still frozen. Some of it's start, uh, thawed out. It's been in the sun, and the tractor is a little bit kind of sliding around a little bit on some of the slopes. So I don't know. I'm going to try the skid steer. I don't know if it's going to work all right doing this or not. So I went ahead and used the loader to bring down the second and third trip load whatever of uh, logs and there's definitely a difference in between the loader and the tractor with how it, it handles and gets them down here. So the first pro for the loader is that it definitely makes the trip faster. I can go up, get them, hook up, you know, back down here in less time than it takes with the tractor. But it definitely disturbs the ground more than the tractor does and for two reasons. The first is that it's it's just the way it's built with the tracks on there when you're turning it's kind of skidding around there you know it's a skid steer after all it, and it kind of it's kind of sliding around on the ground when you turn and so 
it kind of lends to just the nature of the machine that it's going to disturb the ground more than the tractor does. And the second reason is that on the back of the tractor you've got a three point hitch that you can chain those logs to there and then you can lift that three point hitch up and get that leading edge of the log off the ground so instead of dragging along like this you kind of get an angle on there and then that way that leading end of the log isn't cutting a furrow into the ground. You don't have that on the back of the skid steer so they just it is it's as they lay on the ground is how they drag so the tractor you know you can lift that up there and it doesn't dig in so well so of course the pros with the tractor would be just the exact same thing that the tractor doesn't tear it up the ground up as bad just in general as well as that it's got that three-point hitch to lift them off the ground another nice thing with the loader is that once I get down here I can just unhook turn right around and use that loader to stack the logs up here um, in a pile and I don't have to switch machines with as wet as things are right now I kinda feel like I should probably use the uh, the tractor so it doesn't tear stuff up it's sorta of interesting kinda of comparing the the two of them and seeing how they handled neither one of them was really great in the kind in the the overly soupy areas where it's a little bit lower and there's some water sitting in there and it's just neither one of them did a real great job with pulling through that I actually think the tractor did a little bit better with dragging them through there it didn't seem to bog down and spin quite as much the the track steer seemed to kind of have a little bit more difficulty getting through those areas but I don't know I don't think one of them's really better than the other they just do it differently I guess optimally I would use a trailer and I do have access to a trailer that I could use the only problem is that none of the roads and that's probably a little bit uh, being generous with the term it's more like paths on the farm are improved uh, they're just all they are is just places that people have been driving or riding a horse or pulling a cart or whatever for the last 200 years uh, there's not really any gravel to speak of on any of the paths uh, so as soon as we get some rain everything just turns to mud and it's not very often that I think I'd feel comfortable trying to get a big trailer all the way up the mountain there without sliding off the road into a tree or something and getting it stuck or having all sorts of issues. Um, so I, I, that's just not really an option right now with the condition of the roadways. If I could use it, I could probably have gotten all these logs probably in one trip. Uh, it would have taken, you know, maybe an hour or two. Uh, another thing with that though is I got to have a second person preferably. Um, that way one person can take the truck and the trailer up, another person can take the skid steer and go up, you can use the skid steer, load the logs on the trailer, and then you both drive back down. We got them down here either way, uh, so hopefully I'll be starting on milling these things pretty soon. Optimally, 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 